All right, this is the step where we put the diamond painting or any artwork inside the matting and attach it to the backing and put it in the frame. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to attach the piece to the matting. And a lot of people use glue or things like that, but I am actually going to use, it's called blue tack, but there's a lot of different kinds. You can do um, uh, sticky tack, all different ones. But basically it's kind of like a command strip, but in a little pad of butter almost. That's what it's like. So I'm gonna put that there because I like to be able to take this apart, you know, years down the line or, and use it for something different. And so this way there's no ripping or glue that I have to worry about. All I have done is put something that is completely, keeps everything in place, but it's removable. So I'm just cutting it in strips and making little teeny tabs. I'm even cutting this little one in half so that everything stays perfect just the way I want it. Put that one there and that one there. And then what I'll do is put this right on top. And also if you're using spray glue, it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. You have to use it outside in the grass because it will get on your cement. It will get everywhere. It just does. It's like spray paint. It's, I don't care for it. But this stuff works great and it's removable. So I'm gonna get this exact. And the nice thing about this sticky tack is that it's movable, but we'll just do it this way. Get everything exact and then press. Very, very nice. Now, I did forget, see, look, to put one there. So, easy. Look at that. It comes off so easy. And I will put some right there because I don't want to have any gaps or openings, but it does not take hardly any. See, this is the size piece I'm using and I'm gonna cut that in half. Right there. You don't wanna put it too close. I probably got it a little close because you don't want it to pucker around your painting. Okay, here's my little piece. a little bit far down. All right, now we've got everything going. All right, get it exactly how I want it. Straight as an arrow. And press. I could even take my roller and make sure everything is still in frame after doing that and go like that so that I don't get any finger oil, oil prints on there. Okay, I'm happy with that. And now when I lift it up and hanging, it looks great. All right, now the backing I am using the other piece of 16 by 20. The big piece of matting that I got was 36 inches. And so when I cut it, it was actually 16, 16. So that looks great. And what we'll do there is the same thing. Except for this time, I'm gonna put it on the back and I'm gonna put it in different areas because I don't want it to be too thick in those one areas. 
And this one, I think I'm only gonna put four corners. But we'll see how it looks. If I need to add more, I'll add more, easy. But we wanna do it in different places. Like maybe in the middle, so that it has equal Will puff, for lack of a better word. Now, this is all set to go inside our frame. Just set it right inside. And now all we need to do is secure with our handy dandy Perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna go in the corner. And in this corner. And this way. Feel like it's puffing anywhere? I do. So we're gonna do here too. Here. Here. And this is just like those frames that you can get that already have this in them, but I'm just doing it myself. Saving money in the long run. Yes, it's a little bit of an investment to get all this stuff. But now that I have it, I am. See, there's no more puffy, so I really don't need to do that, but you know, for good measure, I may as well. And it's fun, why not? Okay, are we ready for the reveal? <gasps> so exciting. Oh my gosh. Wow, I am really, really happy with that. I think that turned out so nicely. Right, I've got it hung and finished. Thank you so much for joining me for all of these videos. If this is the first video that you've seen, then be sure to go back to the beginning and start with video one, the review of this DIY diamond painting deer and go all the way through. I show you how to do some drilling. I show you how to finish the piece, how to measure for a custom mat and how to frame. And also be sure to hit subscribe because I'm not only going to be doing videos on diamond painting, I'm going to be doing videos on anything and everything that has to do with homemaking. One specifically that I mentioned in video one of this series is my Bavarian pretzels. I don't know if you remember, but my husband immigrated from Germany in his 20s and I know exactly how to make authentic Bavarian pretzels and they turn out great and I go step by step through the process and so be sure to hit subscribe and be notified when that one comes up and any other videos that I make. 
In the meantime, have a great day and enjoy your own happy homemaking adventures.